We got some breaking news here on new home sales data, and we take a look at the numbers. It plunged pretty uh, significantly here in the month of November. A bit of a surprise here, falling by 12.2 percent to an annual rate of 590,000. When you take a look at the drop that we are seeing within this print, some areas of weakness are the south, and this obviously pointing to what looks to be a very bumpy and volatile a road to recovery within the housing market. Brad, we have seen some improvement when it comes to the 30-year mortgage rate. We know, obviously, the higher rates keeping many of these potential home buyers on the sidelines. So maybe that number could potentially improve as you look ahead to 2024, but not a massive surprise that we are seeing more pressure within the space, given the fact that so many people are holding off on buying those homes and there's just the lack of supply, even from the new homes. Yeah, spot on. You mentioned supply. I want to hit that number first real quick. Seasonally adjusted estimate of new houses for sale at the end of November, 451,000, representing a supply of about 9.2 months at the current sales rate. So that's one figure. The second figure, the median sales price that you're seeing of new houses sold during November 2023, $434,700. Average sales price at about $488,900. So as we continue to really wrap our minds around what it's going to take to move through that inventory that would essentially take, as we mentioned a moment ago, 9.2 months to get through, it's really going to be on the backs of figuring out what is going to be attractive at a rate perspective mm -hmm. for some of the first-time home buyers, which we've continued to hear. We've had discussions even with the National Association of Realtors, Chief Economist Lawrence Yoon this week, and it really comes back to where we're seeing more of them be able to trickle into the market. Yeah, exactly. We know a lot of these home builders are offering various incentives, whether or not it's price cuts, whether or not it's subsidized mortgages, trying to do everything they can to make some of these homes more affordable to those first-time home buyers, because we know just in terms of the impact that this has had on potential home buyers, first-time home buyers really feeling a large chunk of that pain.